OK, in this instance, we can see the IP address that we can see on Show My IP is 94.197.120.106. If, however, we look at the Teltonica and go to Status and Network, and then we look at the WAN connection information, this will give us the IP address provided to the router from the network. And we can see at the moment these are different. That means uh, on this particular occasion, 3Mobile haven't given us a public IP address uh, because they don't always. So this is a good example of this. So if we wanted to connect to the router uh, and we're using this address, we wouldn't be able to connect to the router. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, reboot the router. And hopefully when it reconnects, it will then give us uh, a public IP address and you'll be able to see the difference. OK, so we saw in the previous uh, screenshots that whilst the router had connected, uh, the IP address shown at showmyip.co.uk was different to the IP address showing on the router. Uh, and this is uh, quite a good example uh, to highlight that it's not a guaranteed way of providing remote access to your router. Uh, it's not a contracted part of 3Mobile's offering, uh, so you're not guaranteed it. So if your application is mission critical, that you can access your router anytime, then please don't rely on three mobile SIM cards with this APN of three internet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look back at the router. Now it's reconnected. OK, so we're going to log back in. So we can see that the router is reconnected. It's been up for two minutes, registered on three, on 3G. We can see there. And again, we just go to status and network. And we go to WAN. And we can see the IP address now is 92.41.14.170. So if we go to show my IP and refresh this, there we go. We can see that those now match. So on that basis, uh, that looks like 3Mobile have given it a public IP address and we should be able to remotely connect to the router. So just to test that, what we need to do is disconnect from the router, connect the Wi-Fi on, connect to our office network, i.e. a different network than the router is on. And what we can then do is paste that public IP address into there. And you can see we can now remotely access the router using that public IP address. And there's the router up for three minutes, status, network, WAN. So again, that there is matching the public IP address. And that's how you can tell in that session that you've received a public IP address. So that's the basics. Once you can remotely access the router, um, then you can do things like port forwarding. But if this IP address doesn't match your show my IP address, then that means you've got a private IP allocated to your router. You won't be able to connect to your router. You won't be able to use port forwarding. You won't be able to use dynamic DNS. Uh, and that's just down to your choice of SIM card and using the method of relying on 3Mobile to provide your router with a dedicated public IP address. OK, so we hope that serves as a good example for you of how you do it, how you configure your APN setting, how you enable remote admin to the router, and then what to look for in terms of checking that you're receiving a public IP address when using a standard three mobile data SIM. Thank you.